everybody. This is Allison from Elegant Creations. How are you? This is going to be an oracle reading for the collective for the next few days. So this is a general reading. If this does not resonate with you, that's okay. I have other readings. My feather is in my face. But we're going to get started. The other one I did. Had specific meaning. So I'm going to turn this down. Spirit, what messages do you have for the collective? For the next few days. What does the collective need to know for the next few days? Same card, the void. Okay, there's no way that two cards are pulling at the same reading. All right, but we'll take it. I guess this really needs to be solidified here. The void, possibility still undecided by the gods. Things are in flux. A little mystery is a positive thing. Knowing that we don't know is a great place from which to begin to learn. There is great potential in your current position. The fate of this issue is not yet decided. Consider a uh, the void represents as a blank stone or piece of wood was included to remind us that sometimes not knowing is the best way forward. While it's not part of the elder further, it grew to be a part of the metaphysical and divinatory processes. But the void does not mean absolute emptiness. Rather, it suggests that fate has not yet decided about the subject presented. It may also mean that the way is completely open to our own will and creative force. Yes, it says, the way is opened and it is all up to you. This may be both a welcome message and a daunting one. Consider a fallow field. It breathes and rests, yes, but it is not truly empty. It is full of good, of of the good earth waiting for the seeds to be laid within. It is waiting to support new growth to create. Like the pharaoh field, the void too looks empty, but it is in fact full of possibility and choice. So guys know that Things might be seeming one way, but if we plant the seeds, it will persevere. Spirit, what energies can you give us for the collective for the few days ahead? Make sure I shuffle these good. Spirit, what messages do you have based on the void for the collective ahead? What messages do you have for the collective for the few days ahead?
Okay, we have Gemini cross pollinate. Words are at the heart of the issue you are facing and not just any words, but real dialogue. If you feel tension in the situation, see what is blocking the lines of communication and open the aperture. Listen to the grapevine and cross pollinate. Gather and share information. Bits of truth may float in on gossip. Explore social media, sound bites, and, other and any other way to get the word out. Talk to people as if they are your sibling. True equals. If something is bothering you, find a place to unpack it, get it on the table, and take a good look. Then talk it over in depth with a friend, a therapist, or a trusted person. Trust the process of self-expression to help you get to the root of the problem. The situation may be more complex than you think, so be willing to dig in. Gemini energy can be shallow or oversimplified as it encourages breadth rather than depth. So you have to add the depth consciously. Gemini's gift is an open mind and a sense of universal siblinghood. We are all in this together. The soul knows how to find itself back in equilibrium if we just let all parts of commun to communicate. Help the unexpressed feelings, persons, and elements within the community be heard. And then squared, semi-squared, quintix. Tension. Life is a workout. This phase needs juggling, muscle building, and the careful coordination of complete competing needs. You may feel pulled between one path or another and pushed to make a decision but with some fancy timing and rhythm, you may be able to do it all. Working with people who have diverse mindsets, skills, backgrounds can be challenging, but in the long run, these collaborations prove most productive and enriching. Find points of ease, the few things everybody agrees on, and build out from there. Honor differences and difference and expand. This is a work out of body, mind, and spirit, and workouts can be tiring. Take this opportunity to build strength and learn to reconcile the conflicts within. When you can resolve internal conflicts, it is easier to reserve, reserve, resolve external ones. So these two cards really go together. So whatever we are putting our seeds into the void to birth out, manifest, bring into existence, we have to be mindful of the people that might be coming in or out of our lives and make sure that we are aware of the workout that might be ahead with those people while we're birthing and manifesting. Yeah, that's that's what spirit is guiding me to say. Okay, spirit. What messages do you have for the collective? For the next few days. Guys, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. I do reading, I do a few readings during the week as well. So go check those out. Many of them are timeless if this isn't resonating with you.
Spirit, what messages do you have for the collective for the week ahead, in the next few days? Spirit, what messages do you have for the collective for the next few days? So we got wild rose fairy love and maple spirit generosity. She again the other reading I did for the other collective came about. Love is all around. <clears throat> Sorry guys. Love is all around you. Open your heart to receive. All of life's experiences are splendid, part of a spiritual evolution toward the realization that we are all love. In matters of romance, there is healing right now. You are a sacred vessel for love to flow through you to others and to the universe. Healing has occurred. Healing is occurring. Healing will occur. Your angels guide spirits, spiritual guardians and allies adore and cherish you. If you, if only you could see yourself the way those in spirit see you, you would know how profoundly and deeply loved, cherished, and adorned you are. Be open to allowing the creator to solve your challenges in wondrous ways. Trust that everything is unfolding graciously and perfectly in your life. The opposite of fear is love. Allow fear to dissolve as love expands. The spirit of the wild rose says, you are more cherished than you can possibly know. Open your heart to receive. Love is on its way. You are eternal vessel for love to flow through. You are enough just as you are. Absolutely. So there might be a relationship possibly coming in for those are, that are single or And this could also be if you're seating, and again, take this as it resonates, but if you're seating a relationship, you just have to be careful with that person and be mindful what you're seating through the social medias. Because tension could be arise, but just know that it's, or if you're with somebody, it can enhance and you can also love yourself. Generosity, maple spirit. What you give out comes back to you tenfold. There are times in life to receive and there are times to provide love, services, and items to others. This card suggests that this is a time to give with your whole heart. Give without thinking of what you will gain in return. By doing this, you enter into the flow of the universe and blessings will show, shower upon you. Maples are thought to be very old and species of tree. The spirit of the maple says, be open to receive the bounty of the universe. At the, at the same time, be generous with others and with yourself. A warmth of spirit radiates from you. Share from your heart and receive with an open heart and success will blossom. So guys, just be on aware, be aware that the people that we're cross pollinating with because we're seeding something, whether it be a relationship, a career, or just awesomeness, that there may be some tension but always put love in it and be generous and make sure it's balanced. Keyword balance. Spirit, what messages do you have for the collective?
spirit messages do you have for the collective? Spirit, what messages do you have for the collective? Step out of your comfort zone. Step out of your comfort zone. And like the void, nothing is yet set in stone, a mutable moon. Just like the void is talking about, just know that nothing is set in stone and things are still moving. Spirit, what does the collective need to know? The, the next few days, what advice can you give them? We'll take that. Sometimes I do take the cards that flip out at me. Sometimes I don't. I have to have the right vibration that I feel the card with. Barrett, what messages do you have for the collective for the next few days? I also had a pause because I have a kitty who decided I'm gonna make a ruckus. Okay. We got repairing the veil, forgiveness. Sorry guys, I to make sure you can see the card. Between us, all is a thin veil appearing to be a space that separates us. We look through this veil and believe ourselves to be distinct from each other. We assume that our thoughts and feelings are our own. We see bodies and objects and the spaces between them. So we engage the world in relationships between a duality of us and them. This veil serves as a mysterious illusion making it so hard to believe in our inherent connection and unity. We can't always remember that what we do to someone else, we at the same time do to ourselves. When we claw at the veil out of fear, anger, jealousy, or resentment, manipulate another, misuse our power, or allow someone's actions to diminish us, we create a wound felt by many not just those of us in the smaller direct relationship. Now is the time to examine where your actions have caused difficulty or harm to someone else, and also where you have been the recipient of harm. Regardless of what side you are on, it's important to take responsibility for healing this rift by bringing love, compassion, deep listening, and presence to whatever is not in harmony. Do this for you and for your own liberty as you become an unwitting hostage once you take the role of per perpetrator or victim, both positions of weakness. Let go of all your resentments, know your part in the dynamic and make the appropriate amends with the newfound wisdom and understanding, healing, forgiveness, and mending what is broken in your world is a sweet, much needed declaration of freedom. So guys, a lot of this is speaking about balancing and repairing. Like you would have to step out of your comfort zone in order to heal and confront this the forgiveness. 
nothing is set in stone when it comes to finding someone you're seeding the career there might be tension there but if you give that tension some love and you're balancing everything out with generosity things will be okay and this is feast of plenty choices and their consequences again the there's a, like a huge need for the collective right now to balance to forgive to know your own mistakes and to heal a great feast is laid out before you and requires you to choose what will satisfy your hunger something new and unconventional with this potential for bitter or savory qualities or something you already know you love you are faced with a plethora of options right now and while that may seem to be an, an extraordinary thing too many choices can throw you off balance you might be worried that once you commit you won't be able to turn back or refuse to confront the consequences of that decision the most important thing to realize is that the feast is offering you experience no matter no amount of over analyzing or strategizing will help you make the right choice now don't debate the right or wrongness instead you choose and the choosing is a seed of experience and that is what is necessary now the void sour bitter sweet savory what matters is relishing the experience until you digest all that your choice is, your choice is offering you right now only one warning avoid the same choice if it keeps you hungry if something didn't feel good or does not bring you what is seemingly promised do not choose that again the experience will only repeat itself and you will have more than a bad taste in your mouth the feast is yours to enjoy you can always go back for more when you're hungry again for life's blessings are ever available to you and calling your name again guys this is all about the balance all of it is about the balance spirit what messages does a collective need to hear what messages does a collective need to hear for the next few days? Messages, spirit. What message is spirit for the collective? What message is spirit? Inner alchemy. Inner alchemy is achieved when you react with react to fear with love. Blue star. Follow the light of your inner compass, the blue star. It will lead you to the truth that resides within your soul. intuition trust your intuition it has been guiding you to answer to the answers that you seek spirit what messages do you have for the collective for the next few days Guys, if you like what you're hearing so far, make sure you hit that like button. I do personal private readings. They're inexpensive. I do them usually through Zoom and they're really fun. Spirit, 
through what messages. We have skull. Hidden secrets can harm you. That message is spirit. So make sure, guys, um, again, who it, it goes with this tension. Someone might be hiding something from you that might be causing that tension. It's not a card I could use. We have elephant, a long journey, either physical or mental with mental will leave you wiser at the end. So this journey that we're moving upon in this relationship, career, kind of love and generosity and this huge balance, it will be okay. And you'll be wiser for it at the end because there will be plenty of lessons to be learned in the in between. And then we have money path. A path with money is awaiting for you to find it. Sorry, guys, that's not straight. So that seems really like a positive thing. So if we're seeding a career, there's a path, a door opening, something is coming your way. Spirit, what messages do you have for the collective for the next few days? Key, successful outcome to your problems. So there might be a key that might open up that door to help solve a problem. Finger, warning you of a problem either now or in the near future. So again, with the tension and the and this person that might be cross pollinating that you're probably seeding, whether it be a boss, a coworker, or someone in a relationship you're with, be mindful. And then the wishbone, a wish is granted. So, so far, it looks like if we're trying to manifest money, the wishbone is really good. And that this, this journey that we're taking with another person or people in and around you, whether it be career or relationship, it will be a good long journey, but you'll be wiser for it. And just to be making sure that the person that might be coming up in your attention may have a hidden secret and the finger is warning you of that so make a wise choice and that doors are opening you have the key to success use your intuition spirit what do we need to have known and shown to us. Spirit, what does a collective need to know for the next few days? Spirit, what does the collective need to know for the next few days? Oh. 
we get the Gaia Gateway Activation, Learning Experiences, Wisdom Transmission, Earth Intelligence. It's a really pretty card. Sometimes it is not our role to know how everything will unfold. When you draw this card, it's a reminder to trust the plan. The wisdom of Gaia is with you at this time, and you can enjoy the natural expansion that is taking place. You may have a tendency to go traveling and look at the stars for answers, but realize that the planet you call home has much to offer too. You have chosen to be here. This may not be easy to accept, especially if your current reality is a harsh one, but your current experiences are vital for your growth. The earth herself cannot escape the cha challenges that she is facing at this time. Learn from her strength, learn from her yearning for a better future. Come back to her. She is your chosen home. Absolutely. We have stellar gateway activation, infinite potential manifestation vortex. You are a master of manifestation. Every one of your thoughts, actions, non-actions, and choices is affecting the unfolding of your path. Realize that you have great potential and power within you. And through your focus awareness, you can draw on heav heavenly support to create the life of your wildest dreams. Know that all the energies you connect with are carried up to the stellar gateway. And if they are aligned with intentions your soul had before this incarnation, opportunities will come your way. It is important to consider connecting with your cosmic origins at this time and also tracking down the intentions of your soul. For if you can bring your wishes in this life together with your pre-life intentions, you can live a life that is aligned with the highest of heavens. Amazing. Spirit, what messages do you have for the collective? What messages do you have for the collective? Triple moon, embracing all aspects of yourself, the, the divine and the earthly. And that absolutely goes along with that card. Spirit, what messages do you have for the collective for the next few days? What messages do you have for the collective for the next few days? Air, work with the element of air to cut through to the core of a situation and seek truth. Healing, true healing of the mind, body, and soul. So we're definitely being asked to heal right now because there's a lot of this needing to come into a balance. So I'm gonna do an oracle reading from heaven as a special little bonus. So spirit, if there is a spirit from beyond third density who would like to express a message to the collective, please step forward. What messages do you have for the collective? This is my Talking to Heaven set by James Von Prague. What messages do you have, Spirit, for the collective for the next few days? 
That one is a winter chicken dinner. Don't be afraid. My transition has changed everything for both of us. And you may be frightened of the future as a result. Please know that you have nothing to fear, my love. Rest assured that all of heaven is watching over you, including me. Although you can't be in my physical presence any longer, you definitely can rely on my spiritual presence. Which in many ways is much more powerful than my soul, than when my soul was limited by my body. My love for you has increased now that I'm no longer restricted or distracted by physical demands. And with my increased love for you, I am able to help you even more. So I hope that resonated with somebody who needed to hear from a, a person that has passed on in their life. Spirit, what is the overall feeling? God, oh, these messages. What is the overall feeling, spirit, from the reading for the collective? What is the overall feeling? What is the overall feeling, spirit, for the collective? Oh, this is a good card. Behu. Prosperity. This room card signifies wealth, material possessions, and success in business. Owning cattle was a sign of wealth in ancient times, and this inevitable force focuses in interpretation of the room's meaning on matters concerning money, property, and new income sources, or perhaps the need for them. However, it can also indicate forms of wealth that money can't buy, such as good health, love, and happiness, and serve as a reminder to be grateful for the things in our lives that we may be taking for granted. The need for generosity, sharing your good fortune, or taking time to help others is another facet of this rune. Additionally, Fehu may symbolize exciting new beginnings. This new beginning could be a new business venture, but it could also point to the need to define your life less by outward show and more by the things that are priceless. Um, this definitely sums up everything that we have here. And again, it goes back to the generosity card. Okay, guys, home stretch. Spirit. How are you helping the collective for the next few days? How are you helping the collective spirit for the next few days? Spirit, how are you helping the collective for the next few days? Ooh, Alpha of Alcyon. Alcyon is a star in the Pleiades. A positive twist of fate and a windfall of good fortune are destined for you. Brightness and hope will alleviate negativity and give you the strength to find your way through a time of adversity or challenge. Finally, you will experience peace, love, and deep connection with your true self and the universe. Good things are on their way to you. 
The Oracle of Alpha of Alcyone supports us in relaxing and reconnecting to optimism, even during tough times. In such a state, we will realize that difficulties will eventually come to an end and will be provided for. This oracle brings guidance that a new reality of happiness is available to us even now as we steadily make our way to the light of a happy new start. Oh my goodness, guys. This was such a good reading. There's a lot to take into account. There's a lot of balance that needs to be made and to think about the balance, to think about the people in our lives, to think about the balance, whether it be relationships, whether it be in a career. But it looks like everything is gonna come out in time and not to worry. So I really hope you enjoyed this Oracle reading for the collective. Please make sure if this resonate with you, you hit the like button. If you want to see the rest of my content, I have a lot of different things. Please subscribe. I try to do videos every few days. I do private readings. All my information will be linked down below. And I'm wishing everybody a wonderful rest of the week. Sending each and every one of you love and light. Bye.